I was like grooving, you know. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, the camera's on. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Very beautiful morning to all of you. Um, thank you very much for joining this uh, webinar. My name is uh, Yitka, and I'm part of the volunteering community of nonprofit organization called Shield of Data. I would like to welcome you to our final webinar that we organized together with Nimble Marketing Team and the one and only inspiring marketer, Bella Kaja, who is going to be our speaker for today. And she'll talk about must-have applications that will help you with your productivity, how to build a successful digital marketing strategy, and much more. So who she loves data is? We are a nonprofit volunteering run organization established in uh, uh, 2016 right here in Singapore by Jana Marle Zizkova. We focus on importance of diversity, data, and digital literacy by conducting free workshops, online webinars, seminars, talks, and meetups for women. We help women to embrace data and tech in order to get them ready for the future jobs and create their local and global support network. And we are proud to say that since 2016, we have trained over 6,500 women across the globe. So what are missions and visions of uh, She Loves Data? We want to simply inspire women uh, to pursue careers in uh, data and tech and build a community where like-minded women can come together to learn, to connect, and also to have fun. We would like to continue significantly expand our reach within uh, Asia Pacific um, and other countries over the next three years in a sustainable way. So that's a short intro of who Sheila's data is. That's all from me now. And just before we start, please don't be shy and ping us on Q&A for any content related questions. We have our moderators, Effie and Nisa with us, and they are ready to answer all your questions. In case you have any technical issues, please write us on chat. Thank you once again for joining us. I hope you have your coffee and uh, tea ready. So let's enjoy Bella's presentation. Bella, sorry, <laughs> right to you. <laughs> it's okay, I would love to see your kids. <laughs> that is the thing, right? The beauty of being a mommy. Yeah, thank you for all the information. Bella, it's yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be. Don't ever be. Yeah. All right, ladies, let's keep the um, let's keep the comments coming in. Let me just tell you a little bit more about what we do um, as uh, as a business. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Bella Kaja. If this is the first time, your first time with us in this webinar. Now, thank you so much for being here. Um, um, it's 11 a.m. here in Singapore. Um, tell me where you're from. Tell me where you're from. I hear someone's from, uh, someone's from Melbourne. Uh, so what time is it there in Melbourne? Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really curious about uh, you know, the kind of participants we have. Uh, please uh, you know, keep those comments coming in the chat board. But basically, you know, this is, um, this is my business. Uh, and this is the, um, basically Nimble. What we do is, um, as a business, we help of brands and clients you know get their word out with branding with social media marketing and digital uh, marketing and we've been doing this since 2016 um but but here's a fun fact um uh, me and yana we we've never really met up until 2017 yet right yana 2017 2018 that was about two years later uh, i i think thereabouts and and you know it has been such a wonderful collaboration ever since uh yana and her team are fantastic fantastic um at what they do and i hope i hope i hope you give them all the support all the support that you can get uh, that you can give them because there'll be a lot more webinars coming uh, 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 in the pipeline right after mine so continue to learn continue to learn because um, that's pretty much uh, what I do um, I try to inspire a lot of uh, women a lot of men a lot of business owners um, you know to do whatever it takes whatever it takes on social media to get a word out to really get your sales to re uh, re improve the way you look at digital marketing forever and this is what we do do also on the side so I have my consultancy business on the, uh, over here and then we also have a training wing over there um, and today's session today's session is is a culmination is a culmination of what you have went through um, for the past three, uh, you know two days with me Monday and Wednesday um, and today is all about the ultimate marketing toolkit yeah so I hope you are ready I hope you're ready I know a lot of our Muslim listeners or, um, uh, who's watching uh, Ramadan Karim to everyone as well we are all fasting so let's give this a go yeah let's let's do this guys let's do this 
All right, today is all about a marketing toolkit. And it's a question that I get all the time. Bella, do I need a staff? Do I need an intern? Do I, can I do this by myself? Am I, uh, I'm just a mompreneur. Uh, let me just tell you, um, you know, a story, a story. Um, since 2016, you know, I've been conducting a lot of workshops for women. I mean, that I'm really, really passionate about uh, making sure that women, right, women are Access to knowledge, women are given um, the the, um, the know hows to actually do this on their own, um, and and I've been helping a lot of mompreneurs. Yeah, so um, um, one of the things that I, I I actually love to see is I I love to see mompreneurs thrive. Um, I love to see you know how they are able to actually um, you know like like um, uh, thrive in a space that they think they could not. So that's the thing about my class today. This webinar session today is all about ensuring ensuring that you're able to get the tools at hand because the content is all in our heads right the content is through our experience that we have uh, and and the thing is what we want to do is we want to present them in a way that it looks like as if the nimble team is behind you and designing all of this for you right so so that's the thing i want to tell everyone and let you know that you do not have to be so worried right you don't have to be so worried because the tools that i'm about to share with you they are all free they're all free yeah so so that's the thing. Um, today's session, let me just uh, break it down to you. Today's session is going to be very, very, very hands-on. Yeah, very, very hands-on. So it's going to be less of my slides, really, and more towards like, you know, I'm just going to change up my browser here and there, just going to show you a few tools um, that um, is going to help you get, not just to get by, but it's going to help you schedule your social media posts. I'm going to introduce to you like, you know, the design tools, video tools that you must have you have to register um, uh, an account for because these are the, the supporting um, stuff that you're gonna um, you're gonna definitely need for your social media marketing yeah or your digital marketing okay so before I move on uh, let me just also just a quick plug about our summit that's happening next Friday um, this is uh, this is really really gonna be interesting whatever that I've been sharing um, is gonna be explored far far more in depth um, and uh, and one of the one of the best things someone asked me, Bella, what are you gonna teach in the summit? Well, we're gonna give away 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 tutorials, video tutorials, pre-recorded tutorials that is gonna um, uh, that's gonna wrap up, you know, uh, everything that you need to know about digital marketing, everything that you know need to know for ads and uh, everything you need to know for design and stuff like that, pre-recorded videos for everyone. Um, so I really hope you can join us for the live stream and then the pre-recorded videos are gonna be given to you at the same time. So please, please join us. Um, this is exactly um, this is exactly the itinerary. We're gonna talk about your branding DNA, something that I can never, uh, I mean, I, I cannot explore much uh, in depth today. I'll talk a little bit about branding DNA. Uh, we're gonna talk about content marketing, yeah? Uh, and then of course, of course, the last part of, of it all on Sunday is all about the digital marketing and advertising tools that you need, that you need to master uh, for, your, uh, for your business today. So I hope, I hope, I hope um, uh, you're able to join us as well. There will be details that will be given by, uh, uh, by, by my by data as well. Uh, so just uh, hang in there uh, for all the dates, yeah? Alrighty, today's webinar breakdown. Are you ready, ladies? Okay, so we're gonna talk about the best tools for marketing from email. So we're gonna talk about email marketing because I, I never got to actually uh, um, explain that. So we're gonna talk about the email softwares. I know a lot of us are on Mailchimp. I know a lot of us are on Mailchimp and, um, uh, and, and, um, and, and the question for everyone is, Bella, how do I move away from Mailchimp and try to do um, another tool, try to explore another tool. So I'm gonna explore, I'm gonna explore all of these things to you with, uh, today. And we're gonna talk about social media production, meaning to say if you were to record your videos on your phone, how are we gonna edit them, right? How are we gonna edit them on my mobile? How are we gonna edit them on my browser? How are we gonna do all of that? So I'm gonna show everyone, yeah? I'm gonna show everyone a live demonstration on how to schedule your work, no matter what social media platforms you're working on, whether or not you're on Twitter, you're on Pinterest, you're on, um, you know, you are on, on Instagram. So I'm gonna do a live demonstration of all of these things. So today is less of my slides and more of like a hands-on. So if you need to screen record everything, do whatever it takes, ladies. Of course, we're gonna give the webinar replay away. Uh, but of course, if you're gonna, if you're so, uh, I'm afraid of missing every, uh, anything out. Please just you know uh, screen record yourself uh, and end the screen. Very easy. You can go to QuickTime Player on your computer and just screen record this um, as well. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, could uh, can my girls just put down these two things? 
easel.com and crello.com. Uh, if you're watching this for the very first time, I would love, I would love um, for you to actually create an account right now with easel.com and crello.com so that you can actually follow through the demonstration um, in just a bit, yeah? So the objective of the session. The objective of the session is to basically break the fear and the notion that you need a big team for your marketing and your promotional campaign. It is quite a myth to be very honest because let me just tell you this, in 2016, when I first started a business, when I first started, uh, uh, when I first started Nimble Marketing uh, Consultancy, it wasn't even a consultancy then, uh, you know, it was, it was just me, myself and I, and I was a freelancer. I was a freelancer for close to 10 months. 10 months before I hired my very first, um, my, my very first staff. Yeah. So, um, so that's the thing, uh, as a freelancer and you're doing this solo, uh, we're talking about, you know, a lot of things that, you know, that, that, that really, really, um, that makes us really fearful of what marketing is. We don't know how to design, Bella. I don't know how to design. I don't know anything about Photoshop. I don't, I don't know anything about Premiere Pro. I can't, edit these things how am i supposed to get the word out so these were some of the concerns that I, uh, that um that i personally had back in 2016 because because believe it or not believe it or not i did not study marketing Ta -da! <laughs> i did not study marketing at all um, um and um back in the day when i was in school when i was in university i actually studied political science mm, yeah so i studied political science and i totally am not um i'm not marketing driven i have no idea what was advertised but 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 I was very 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 experimentative and I was very resourceful so one of the biggest things that I need you all to have and I've mentioned this before I mentioned this before in um in, in our second day is to have that mindset and to have a growth mindset uh, a growth mind develop a mindset ready to be resourceful ready to try things out ready to be um, uh, to be experimenting on, on social media platforms, um, you know, uh, things that are really, really going to help you get there. So I think this is really, really key and important. Wow, we see 120 of you. Welcome to our final leg of the webinar session. I, I hope you, uh, I hope you are ready for uh, for uh, for a fantastic session ahead yeah of course uh please uh you know uh use our she loves data coupon code that's she loves data upon uh upon checkout and you can get up the book our social media uh you know social media book uh for 10 percent off i see so many of you buying it and i'm so so happy because uh let me know your thoughts about the book so far um definitely uh something that i, I would love everyone and i encourage everyone to get because there's like nine social media platforms that are in here all of the, the tricks uh, of how to set it all up it's all in the book and it's yours for 10 percent off so please 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 um uh, something to explore all righty let's begin before we begin let's ask ourselves, ourselves uh, these two pivotal questions have you gotten your coffee ready are you ready all right do we really need a team for marketing? Do we really, really need a big team, a design team, a production team? Can I do this all by myself? And the next question is also so pivotal. Do I really need an expensive tool? Yeah. So um, if this is a fear, if this is a you have had for the longest time, for the longest time, uh, let me know in the chat box so that I can see, I can see um, some of the biggest fears of, of, of marketing in terms of the tools, in terms of the tools. Um, uh, when you uh, when it comes to uh, like your marketing, are you having issues with finding the right tool for your business? Please, please answer in the chat box. I would love to know what are some of your thoughts about these tools. Have you expensive? So what if I told you half of the things I'm going to talk about today they are all completely free? Yeah. So let let me know in the chat box. Let me know in the chat box, ladies, um, what you need to know. Um, about um about the uh about what would you like hang on here yeah. just having some issues with my chat bot yeah all righty let's keep that coming in in the chat bot yeah uh kelly kelly mentioned i'm not sure which are the best free tools yeah vanessa say yes i love the tools that i use right now easily incredible new to me absolutely uh because i know a lot of us are using canva a lot of us are using canva so i'm going to talk about easel right now right right eleni uh, uh eleni yeah nice nice name by the way um easel and curl i registered yeah yeah that's nice 
Um, okay, so not sure which are the best for uh, so many so um, hang on yeah many suggested uh, when I Google uh, yeah many suggested when I Google and it can be so confusing. I totally understand. Um, so I I'm gonna actually pull out one um one act um one query that I had on Facebook. Um, someone asked on Facebook Bella. Um, I actually want to repost something from National Geographic uh, and I'm not too sure how to actually repost someone's work and then crediting them. Do I have the right to repost someone's work and put it on my platform? Um, uh, and then I also had a question about Bella. I am on Instagram and I am currently using the reposter app and it has a horrible reposter watermark right there. How do I remove it? Um, and something that I definitely want to share because um, it's going to start like that, right? We're going to talk about how we are going to repost or what we call user generated content right? Use the generated content that we can actually uh, utilize for our platform as well. So this is something that um, I, I, I want to share with everyone that you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about coming out of new content every single day. If you are on Nimble, on, 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 on Nimble, as, on Nimble SG on Instagram, will you just scroll down, scroll down, you will notice that some of the posts that I have are not even mine. They're not even mine. They are things that I, I've actually, uh, um, I have curated from someone, uh, uh, that I've actually reposted from someone else and I actually put this into my platform and I just quoted them and I just like, you know, acknowledge them and that's perfectly fine. But how did I do it? How do I do it seamlessly without any watermarks? So I think that's, that's the first thing. So first things out, ladies, how do you manage Instagram? Yeah. So I'm going to go straight to the first uh, uh, platform, which is Instagram. I know a lot of you are so um, concerned about Instagram marketing. Some of you have given up on Instagram marketing. So I don't want you to give up just yet, just yet. Um, so what I want to do is I want to share with you how Nimble manages Instagram, uh, the Instagram platform. What are some of the tools that we have? So I'm going to uh, go straight to it, go straight to it. Uh, I'm going to share my Chrome. Hang on. Okay. All righty. All right. So, um, let's start. Let's start. All right. All right, ladies. Okay. So, what you have right now, what you have right now is uh, an Insta. Uh, can I just double check that you're actually seeing my screen? Uh, is everyone looking at my Nimble's Instagram right now on the screen? Yes. All right, Amanda. Thank you so much. All righty. Okay. So, um, so this is Nimble's Instagram and I have just logged in. I have just logged in on Instagram um, via the browser. Um, so um, via the browser and it allows me to do, uh, to do Instagram pretty all natively on my phone. So I really do, will not recommend that any of your social media marketing to be done natively on your phone except, except except sorry uh, except except if you're actually doing insta stories where you need to actually be a little bit more um you know um raw that's fine but everything else that is on instagram let it be known that instagram is a platform that you have to have at least some visual control over it because it's such it's a platform that really deserves um a lot of mood board um uh, a mood board a color scheme that is reflective of your brand now ideally ideally you want to try to have semblance of a mood board when it comes to your visual marketing or in this case, when you want to market and you're using visuals, ask a mood board for my soul to be curated like this. Okay, I don't need you to be curated like this. You to at least, at the very least, when it comes to your IG, Think about a mood board that you can actually establish for yourself. So I'm going to break it down with you in a while. Okay, I'm going to break it down with you in a while. So you don't have to worry about, Bella, how do I come up with a mood board? So I'm going to tell you all the tools. So no excuses now, ladies. No excuses now about uh, coming out of a mood board for your brand. Yeah. So this is uh, Nimble's Instagram and we're all here. Uh, please please uh, follow us uh, every single day. Um, uh, new fresh content are going to be here on Instagram stories because that is how we engage with our audience. We engage them uh, via Instagram stories. So um, if my feed is something that, you know, is very curated, let it be known that Insta, Insta stories is a platform where I'm just sharing all of these things. And what if I told you, what if I told you that your Insta stories can also be scheduled? Isn't that fantastic? It can also be scheduled. Amazing, right? Okay. So let's kickstart. Yeah. 
So first things first, in order for you to kickstart your social media marketing, you indefinitely need a mood board. So to do a mood board, and this is a, this is a, this is a, um, you know, this is something that I do a lot in my lecture. So I'm definitely on Pinterest. Now, if you're not on Pinterest already, uh, if you're not on Pinterest already, uh, please, um, you know, um, get a Pinterest account because this is how we're going to do our research. Okay. So one of the biggest things I do um, is I, I will just, you know, type Instagram mood board. Yeah. All right. There are keywords in here. There are keywords in here that says Instagram mood board, Instagram mood board inspiration, Instagram mood board, uh, Inst Instagram mood boards. Um, they're all in here to basically um, allow you to actually see for yourself the kind of mood board, right? The kind of mood board, the kind of look and feel, um, the kind of color scheme that you might want to have for your Instagram or your social media platform. But why do I have, and why do I want to tackle Instagram first? Because Instagram needs such a curated, um, it, demands, it demands such a curated, um, you know, uh, uh, um, creativity uh, a lot more than the other platforms because on Twitter, you don't really need a mood board. On Facebook, you don't really need a mood board. But on Instagram, you really do need a mood board. So go on Pinterest right now, go do your research, Instagram mood board, and then, you know, uh, whatever color that jives with you, whatever color scheme that you like, uh, pretty much like, let's say you want to have, let's say you are a bakery and you want to think of a mood board that is pretty much pink in color. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of suggestions here. What are some of the color schemes that you can have? So let's say, let's say, um, this is something that you kind of like. You kind of like this color scheme. Just take a look at the others. Look, there's a lot of other mood boards as well um, to actually determine um, the kind of color scheme that you can have for Instagram. Now, here's the thing. How in the world are you going to figure out what color art, uh, this particular artwork actually has? So I'm going to show you the first tool as to how to color pick. How do we color pick um, um, a, a color from a particular image that we have? Yeah, are we ready? Are we ready? All right. So the first tool, the first tool um, that we have that I want to share with everyone is go on your Google Chrome. Go on your Google Chrome right now work on Chrome, yeah? We're not going to do on Firefox. We're not going to do on your Safari. We're going to go do on Chrome. So what I want you to do is I want you to type three keywords. Canva, color, uh, uh, color generator, okay? Okay, three keywords, okay? Canva, color generator. You will see two very important URLs to share with you, yeah? One, you're going to see one, one that says 100 color combinations ideas and examples, yeah? So if Pinterest is not enough for an inspiration for you, for your mood board, take a look at this. Uh, Canva, 100 color combination, ideas and examples. Um, and basically, basically, this is how Nimble determine uh, what kind of mood board we wanted to have for our Instagram. We want it to be loud. We want it to be attention seeking. We want it to stop you in your tracks because that's the kind of personality that Nimble has, right? So that is something that uh, we determine through the color scheme that we have. So this, ladies, look at that, look at that. We have 100 color schemes, 100 color schemes. If you wanted, fresh and bright, if you want it subdued and profesh, if you want it dark and earthy, the color hexes, which is this, the color hexes is all there, yeah? What do you think of this? Have you seen this before? Have you seen um, this, um, this, um, this blog article by Canva before? Let me know in your thoughts. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the chat group. Have you seen this before, ladies? Yeah. All righty. Have you seen this before? Yes, 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 yes. First time for Kelly. All right, Rauda. Never in my life, Abby. All right. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Ariana, Ariane, yeah, yes. Thank you so much for uh, replying, ladies. I wish I could hear everyone. Yeah, all righty. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so now that you know that there's a hundred bunch of color schemes that you can have, look at that, look at that, yeah? Now, I want to tell you, don't freak out. Don't freak out when you see the hex sign and a, a gibberish, like um, like a gibberish, um, you know, like uh, all these numbers and these letters. Don't freak out because this is the language. This is the language that uh, our designers speak. Um, they don't call it um, teal. They call it aquamarine in 98 DBC 6. So when you, when you actually want to converse with a designer one day, you tell that person, like, look, I need this teal color in that particular hex. So that's the thing. We need to learn how to generate this particular color hexes 
before we move on even um, to really creating our collateral. Yeah. All right. Let's do this more professional. Let's do this the nimble way. All right. So now once you have, now that you can explore all of these things, the next tool, as I mentioned, get, again, uh, Canva color generator. Yeah. We're going to go to the first tool. Yeah. This is for ladies and it's called the color palette generator. Okay. We're going to click on that. Okay, we're going to click on that. You don't need an account. You don't need an account for this. There's no need for you to sign up for anything. The idea here is this. You're going to upload any image. You're going to upload any single image, yeah? So in this case, even, even Canva has like an image for you. So in this case, if I were to actually upload this picture, you're going to go straight right to the color scheme, the color scheme that they actually use in this particular image. So say, for example, if you like a particular picture, Let's say you kind of like what I saw on Pinterest. Bella, I kind of like what I saw on Pinterest. So let's say, let's say, yeah, I, I, I kind of like this. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm going to just screenshot. I'm just going to screenshot. This is pretty much Bella's mood board, not Nimbus mood board. I, I, I love red. So I'm actually going to screenshot that. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to upload this. All right. I'm going to upload this. Yeah. And then boom. Right, you're gonna see all the color scheme right there. You're gonna see all the color scheme. Damn, like it was all there. Cellar brown, brown plum, cellar brown, and all that kind of thing. So don't confuse if there's two kinds of cellar brown, Bella. Don't worry. We are here for the hexes, the color hexes. Yeah, there you have. Is going to be the start of your mood board. Now, some of you might have put in your logo. Right, um, we we can actually put Sheila's data's logo and actually find exactly the color scheme that they that as a treatment in our Instagram as well. So this is how we're going to determine the color scheme because later on, on Easel, I'm actually going to get you to onboard all this color scheme back onto your designing toolkit. Uh, and this is going to be key when you design moving forward. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So that's, um, that's Canva palette um, generator. So now let me just help you because there were so many of you um, who said, Bella, 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 I forgot the stock photos. Um, I'm not too sure where I'm going to get my stock photos. So first two ladies, the first two is unsplash.com. Yeah. So if you were to type the sky, all right, there's just so many, 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 many photos of the sky that you can use in HD. If you were to type flowers, yeah, there's just, so many, 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 many photos that you can use for free that again, all you have to do, all you have to do is click on download, right? Click on download for free, okay? And then we are gonna pass it through again. We're gonna upload another image. We're gonna drag and we're gonna drop it. And then we're gonna drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. And then we're gonna wait. And boom, another color scheme. Yeah, <laughs> literally your color scheme. Okay, so it really depends. So let me just say this. Let me just say this to everyone here. Right? Um, so it really depends on um, what your personality is for the brand. So if you're a very vivacious brand, if you're very loud a brand, you might not think that this is a mood board for you. So think, go, go think through um, you know, some of the color palette that you think is, um, that is best reflective of your brand before you embark on, the, uh, on selecting the colors that you have, all right? So this is something that is for everyone, yeah? So that was Unsplash, okay? That was Unsplash. Look, there are other, other tools as well, yeah? There are other tools as well. So I'm gonna show you Paxos.com again, okay? And I'm gonna show you a couple more, okay? There's Pixabay.com, yeah? So these are all, if Unsplash is too arty farty, you might wanna go for Paxos, yeah? And you might want to go for Pixabay, yeah? Because these are all platforms where you can actually find all of these things, even up to the level of illustrations and vectors. So if I were to type flower on Pixabay and not click on images, and I just click on vectors, which is another word for, um, uh, which is another word for, um, you know, um, uh, art, uh, you know, like illustrations like that, illustrations, right? They are all free to use. Now, some of you go like, Bella, you know, it looks great, uh, but not all of them have a transparent background like this. Look, right? This is a transparent background, right? So I'm going to give you other tools as well where you can actually download your illustration for free without the transparent background. Are we ready for that? If you are ready for that, give me a thumbs up, everyone. Give me a thumbs up um, on, your, on, your, on your chat group so that I know I can move on to the next tool. Thumbs up, ladies. 
Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Thumbs up. All righty. Thumbs up. Ezreen. Hi. Hi. All right. Thumbs up. Okay. Are we ready? So all of those tools, all of those tools, right? They are all um, basically, um, they're all the vectors and the, uh, and the HD, um, no, and the HD pictures and all that kind of thing. But, but, but a lot of you, a lot of you will be needing tools that will allow you to, you know, um, you know, have certain images that easel and Canva will not, um, and where the things on the easel and Canva will not uh, suffice. Right. So let's go through this. Uh, let's go to png3.com. Ta-da. All right. So png3.com, um, allows you to actually, uh, find a PN, um, vectors with transparent background so that you can actually use this for your artwork uh, or for your collateral so so all you have to do again just type maybe i can type um, um uh, maybe i can type flowers again yeah flowers yeah all right ladies okay be careful though be careful not to uh, cl uh click on ads because there there are ads uh, that they will try to sell, uh, uh, cross sell you. So just make sure that, you know, um, when you click on this, you're only clicking the ones that you see here. And as you can see, look at that. They're all there for you for absolutely free. There's not going to be any watermark and things like that. Uh, but here's the downside to PNG tree. You can only download this only, uh, uh, two downloads per day. So uh, two downloads per day. Yeah. So that's the downside to it. Um, so you could create multiple accounts, but if not, you can always just, uh, move on, uh, um, and, and just wait for another day or, 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 um, you can go to PNG. Yeah. Yeah. PNG, uh, PNG three as a, uh, as a, as a, um, Apple. And here's the thing, I trust certain tools, right? So these are the platforms that I kind of use all the time. I know when you type free PNG, all right, PNG, uh, you will see a ton. But I, in, at Nimble, we only use a certain tool. Uh, we use free uh, PNGs.com. Yeah, we use free PNGs.com. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? You can use all of these things uh, for absolutely free, even realistic artwork. Um, they're all free. Um, and it is, is that. Um, and then, of course, I use, uh, uh, I also use, was a uh, uh, free pick. Uh, Alexandra loves a uh, free pick. Where's that? Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to it. Um, free, yeah, there you go. Okay, so this answers all of your questions. Uh, free pick is a graphic resource for everyone. All you have to do is just click on the free version uh, and then there you go and you can have all of these things for you for free. So no questions asked. Um, everyone, literally, these are all images. But you don't need a designer to be there for you. All you need to do is now put all of these things on easel and then we're good. Yeah. Okay. So um, now that I've given you all the resources, I have uh, freepick.com. I have pngtree.com. I have png, pngsfree.com. Um, and then I have pexels. And then I have unsplash. All right. Let's get straight to it. Let's start designing. Okay, so if you are here for the very first time on easel, this is going to be my easel um, tutorial right now. I'm going to go through, um, go through this uh, really quite fast because there's a couple of other tools that I want to share with you. But let's try to create, let's try to create a very simple post, everyone, a very simple post. Let's try to do something like that. All right. Go like, ho, 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 Bella, how do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, don't panic. Um, okay, so basically, um, this is something that uh, we actually um, uh, cre uh, created. And as you can see here, this is uh, something that, um, uh, that is something that it can be easily recreated. Sorry, I just saw that, yeah. Uh, this is something that is UGC, but you know what? And uh, it's reposted. I can actually easily, easily, easily uh, recreate this as well. So all you have to do, okay, first, you need to have a mock-up, right? You need to actually have a mock-up uh, that looks like a phone. So again, go back to um, go back to PNG tree, yeah. And then in this case, just type iPhone, yeah, right. So just type iPhone, and then boom, you see all of these things, right? You see all of these things, even with the ones with the hand, yeah. You can even see the ones with the hand, and all you have to do is just click on uh, uh, click on download that. Let's download that. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna log into my easel. And as you can see, a lot of our agency stuff um, is pretty much here as well. Uh, let's get straight to templates, okay? We use a lot of easel, we use a lot of Photoshop uh, because easel democratizes the whole aspect of like templates that are, uh, um, you know, templates that are, you know, that are so, 
always, always so frequently used by, uh, um, that is always frequently used. And basically, they re help me recreate templates I've never, ever, ever seen before, okay? So I love this. Look, from infographics to Facebook cover to Insta stories to Pinterest, uh, we legit live on uh, easel uh, and easel was created by Annette McDonald from Australia. Please, please, uh, you know, say hi to her on Instagram. Um, she's really, really lovely. I'm going to go straight to it. I'm going to share with you how we're going to recreate that post uh, on Instagram earlier. So I'm going to create on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to create on Instagram. So as you can see, these templates are really different from, uh, from everything that I've seen, um, you know, on other tools. Um, and, and if you have only one, um, if you can invest in some tools, let it be easel.com. Let it be easel.com because easel.com is really a fantastic support system for us to design on the fly very quick. The elements are so updated. I love it. I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to just um, share this uh, with you. Okay. Take a look at this. Let's say I do this. Yeah. Let's say I, I want to do this. Um, so I take an iPhone alert message template. I love this. Uh, and then uh, you will get that. So let me just share with you the interface. This is the back end on, on easel. This is the back end on easel. Uh, and basically, when you click on the, re, uh, on the layout, you can choose all the layouts right here. All right. Assuming you don't quite like that, you can click on add a new page. And then you can add an, a, completely, uh, um, you know, a, a completely new page. Yeah. There you have it. It's right there. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. So. Um, so say for example, I want to do my first post. Yeah, I want to use my first post using that image that I downloaded earlier. So this is what I can do. I can immediately upload them. I can upload this. Alrighty. Okay, I can upload this right here. Okay. Just hang on a bit, let it fire up because most of the times this um this um these images are really heavy. Yeah, are really really heavy. Okay, I'm gonna click hide. I'm gonna drag. Okay, and I'm gonna drop it. Okay, there you go. Look at that. How lovely is that? Okay, so. Here's the thing, now we're working on layers, right? So we have that and I have that as a layer. So what we want to do is let's say, okay, all of this, I'm just going to read, uh, I'm just going to hang on. Let's say I, I I'm just going to delete everything. I'm going to show everyone from scratch how to actually do this. Okay. Okay. Let, yeah. All right. Okay. So let's say I have this entire PNG, right? Uh, entire PNG. And I want to actually, um, I actually want to um, put an image, right? An image right there. So what I can do is take a look at this here. You can search for so many images. Let's say on, on, easel, it's on, on, easel, on easel themselves. Yeah. Okay. And you can actually use uh, these pictures uh, that is already preloaded for you for your business so it's just crazy it's just crazy as uh you know um the amount of um the amount of um images that you you know that um that easel has given you um for free yeah for free as well so let's say i kind of have this and then you you know um and you want to you know you want to actually uh you know uh, uh you design this a lot better look i can design this like uh, uh a lot better if i have time but i just wanted to share with you uh, one of the biggest things to easel is that it allows you to actually put up or upload all your fancy fonts so if you create an easel account right now you can actually upload your brand font your own brand font and to do that to do that to do that all you have to do is go to thefont.com okay because your brand font and my brand font is completely different so here is where you are this is crazy you can just simply 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 um click on uh click on you know a basic font face let's say okay this is nimbles this is nimbles baby's new is nimbles so let's say i type my own name right uh and then i hit submit yeah. And then here you have all of these brand fonts, right? If I wanted it to be handwritten, a lot of women, um, you know, um, you use a lot of handwritten uh, uh, font face, uh, yeah, typeface. So all you have to do, let's say you kind of like shoreline script, you kind of like this, click on the download button, click on that, okay, right? Click on that and then unzip that, unzip that font file, 
All right, unzip that font file. I'm just going to exit. Okay. I'm just going to exit and just, you know, uh, get ready my font file. All right, so I'm just going to, I've downloaded that, ladies. Then take a look at this, yeah. Take a look at this. Um, what you can do is you can just upload your font, yeah. You can upload it instantly, right? Uh, I have, sorry, yeah. Bear with me. Ta-da! Okay, so now that I have an OTF, right, and then I'm just going to hit upload. All right, okay. And then, uh, and then there you have it. There you have it. The font file is there. And all you have to do right now is click add text. Hope you try this. Okay. So let's say I want to actually, you know, um, I actually downloaded the shorelines file. Okay, so I'm going to type shorelines. There you go. There you go. And there you have it. That's the font file. And there you have it. It's right there. So the images, you can actually upload all your um, logos. You can upload. There's a lot of graphics that the, uh, Easel has. Look at the patterns, yeah? The patterns are crazy. They are really, really cool. Um, and uh, you can change the colors up and things like that. Um, and, and you can just, you know, upload any of it uh, right here. And you can change the color scheme and things like that um, if you wanted to uh, and, and stuff like that. All right. Okay. So basically, let's say I kind of like where I'm going with this. I, I will download this. Okay. I'll download this off. I will download it as a PNG. Always, always, always as a PNG. Okay. Always, always, always as a PNG uh, because uh, a PNG is a, a much, much more higher version um, then, uh, uh, then a JPG. So always for social media posts, just download it as a PNG. All right. Okay. So now that you've downloaded it as a PNG, now we wait. All right. Now we wait. Now, one of the biggest problems that a lot of marketers have is I do not know how to schedule my work. And the thing about scheduling your work is that it's either someone does it natively on the phone uh, and, or, or, and that's a problem, right? Because you can't always be um, designing from the phone. You got to design it from easel, right? Or you got to design it from Canva. So now what I want to tell you, the most important tool is how to schedule your work um, on the fly with a scheduler called later. Uh, Nimble girls, can we have that uh, that uh, that um, that post? I'm um, sorry, that 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 URL ready is app dot later dot com, and it's gonna help you with your work the same way it has helped mine. All right. So, next tool. All right. Uh, later dot com. Okay. Later dot com. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, later.com is where I really need you to try um, to think, of, think through it. Some of you are on Planoly, some of, and later is not the only tool. There's Planoly, right? Uh, Planoly allows you to also schedule your work. There's Buffer, there's Hootsuite. But look, we need something that is really simple. And I'm telling you, the simplest tools out there is later. And together with Easel, I feel like these are the two tools that I think you got to subscribe to because it's really going to help you with your work. So one of the things that you have to do with later is that you, gotta, you have to actually download the, uh, an app separately from later. Yeah. So uh, sorry, an, an app separate uh, from the desk browser. Yeah. So it works in two ways. You got to have the app first. And then you also have to manage it with, um, with the browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign in because it's free. All of these platforms are free, okay? It's all for you. It's all free for you, okay? So I have nothing to worry about. I'm going to sign in. Hang on, yeah? Mm. Hang on, ladies. Uh, a bit of a boo boo. I think the girls are probably. Uh, okay, I'm going to use mine. Let's see. Okay, so this is this. Is uh, uh, this is pretty much uh, my personal Instagram because I have no time. I just want to share with you the, the platform at the back end, okay? So it works the same way. It works the same way, okay? It works the same way. Now, one of the things, one of the things that I do, right? One of the things that I do uh, that later uh, that I do a lot is I like to curate my Instagram very proper. So when I can, when you can see, oh gosh, hang on, huh? hang on. 
All right, ladies, give me two seconds. Just a bit of a boo-boo. I'm just going to uh, quickly do something here. Uh, hang on, hang on. Give me two seconds. I just want to double check something. Uh, okay. Our later account. Okay, hang on, yeah. Mm. Okay, why don't you take this time to experiment all the um, all the tools that I mentioned? Okay. Yeah, why don't you use this time to get all the tools uh, I mentioned and then I'll get to, I just, um, you know, I just need a little bit more time to just uh, two minutes to just, you know, sign into an account so that I can show you the back end mm, off later. Yeah, give me two minutes. All right, so let's keep the conversation going. I think my girls will be uh, helping you out with a lot of things. Um, go ahead, go ahead and um, you know, um, answer all of the questions that Nimble Girls are actually um, putting across while I fix my, uh, well, there's just a tech issue. Just a tech issue that is very fixable. Give me two minutes. Okay, done, all right. Okay, all done, all good, all good. Okay, I'm gonna share back my screen. Apologies, apologies. I'm gonna actually now um, show you what's going on. All right, okay, so all good, yeah, ladies, all right, okay. So let's get to it. So now what's going to happen is that you're going to see the back end of later like that. So I don't want you to panic because one of the things that you need to know is that later allows you to schedule your work as well as your Insta story right there. And it's really quite crazy because like it makes your work so, so, um, so, so easy. Um, so as I mentioned, what you can do is upload that media that you did earlier. Yeah. So in this case, that was the work. Yeah. And then what you can do is, right, can actually now, now, drag and drop it to a day that you like it to be scheduled okay to a day that you like to be scheduled now right once you see this once you see this i want and this is a very very big tip please take this down okay once you see this right what you can do is you can keep, click on save caption now once you click save caption this allows you to actually pre-write or like pre-type all of your captions that you that you pretty much um, that you want for your particular post. So say for example, I have this post called um, you know Instagram marketing, right? And another one that says um, social media, yeah. So all of these things, all of these things are the uh, are the hashtags, hashtag bang we call it, hashtags one, yeah. I'm gonna save it, okay. And every single time you write something out, you write something out like say, hey everyone. I hope you love this. Okay, and I'm just gonna click on that. And there you have it. All the hashtags are gonna be in there throughout uh, uh, in the post. So isn't this fantastic? But hang on, I have one more tool, yeah? Now, I know a lot, of our, our, a lot of our posts on Facebook and a lot of our posts on Instagram and a lot of social media pl uh, uh, platforms, they are all very, very simple text. What I wanna share with you is I wanna share a tool where you can actually bold this sentence in a way that is uh, really, really cool and awesome. So I'm gonna click on a tool on Chrome called Lingo Jam, okay? Lingojam.com slash uh, fancy text generator, okay? So this is what we call a fancy text generator, all right? Now what I wanna do is I just wanna go back to my later, copy that, go back here, paste it here, and then boom, 
you're gonna have all these really fancy bolded text, right? So say for example, I want to add, add more emphasis to a particular sentence, I'm actually gonna bring it back here. Instead of putting that, I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna replace that and ta-da, it's gonna be bold. Now this, this works. This works on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on, uh, on, on Instagram, pretty much everywhere. And uh, it's all right there. It's just fancy uh, text generator. Do it the nimble way because that's how we make our work pop, all right? What do you think of that tool? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me know in your thoughts uh, whether or not um, that is quite important to you, yeah? So I'm gonna hit save, yeah. But before I hit save, before I hit save, I'm gonna schedule the work. Let's say I don't wanna post this today. I wanna post this tomorrow at 1 p.m., okay? I'm gonna post this tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm gonna hit save. All right, and there you have it. This is actually going to be posted at 1 p.m. tomorrow, right? Tomorrow at 1 p.m. And then what happens is that you're going to get a ping. You're going to get a notification on your phone because you've connected it with um, the later app. You're going to get a ping on your phone to say, hey, would you like to actually upload this at 1 p.m. Uh, on, on, uh, today? All you have to do is just take your finger and just go, yep, this is approved. I just want it out at 1 p.m. And there you have it. It's all scheduled right there for you, all right? So this is a power I say you don't have to worry because one of the biggest things is that later would allow you to actually also connect all the other social tools like Facebook, uh, social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. All of these things can be scheduled all on one platform and it is completely uh, free. It's completely free, yeah? So... One of the things that I just wanted to share with everyone as well is the stories opportunity. You can actually schedule all your stories as well. So please, please, please give this a go. Give this a try. All you have to do is just sign in, sign up with your Instagram account and there you have it. 100 posts for you for free. Um, this is some, I'm sorry, uh, 30 posts for you for free some, for you to try on a trial. But if you want to invest, Go ahead and invest in this because this is really, really helpful. All right. Next tool. Next tool. All right. On your Google Chrome, okay, on Google search, I want you to actually type in this keyword. Okay. This is really important. Can you please type download Chrome for Instagram? Okay. I want you to do this. I want you to do this because this is important. You will see, you want you to type four keywords download Chrome for Instagram. Click on the first, first um, um, search. All right. Okay. Okay, and then I want you to download this very important crucial tool because someone asked, can I repost something from National Geographic? And here's how you're gonna do it without the watermark, okay? So what I wanna do is you're just gonna download it and install this on your Chrome and this is the magic with the tool, all right? This is how we're gonna do this, yeah? So what's gonna happen is that, look, you can, you are, because the extension is already downloaded, it's already downloaded, you can go to any, any, any account and I'm just gonna go to Sheila's data Sheila's data, yeah? Sheila's data, Sheila's data, hang on. This should pop. Data tribe, I think. Hang on, yeah? Oh, there you go. Hmm, that, that's funny. Sheila's data. For a moment, I was like, hey, what was that? Okay, so anyway, can you see that? These are all um, Sheila's data's content, yeah? Now, this is what we can do. This is what we can do. You can legit, you can legit, click on something and because I have the extension ready, can you see that? Can you see that button? I can just simply click that, click that. It's gonna be downloaded directly. I'm gonna go back to my later. I'm gonna to go to my calendar and I'm gonna drag and drop that same poster, that same poster that they have, okay? I'm gonna drag it and drop it into my calendar. And there you have it, there you have it. That is the entire poster being reposted just like that and dropped into later. And you can do this across any Instagram account. But here's the thing. Please don't forget to acknowledge, to acknowledge where that artwork came from. If this is from She Loves Data, just type She Loves Data. Yeah. And, and just make sure that, you know, you have like a nice emoji, like a camera or something like that. So you acknowledge that this came from Sheila's data so that you'll never, there's never an issue with copyright infringement because you actually acknowledge that the fact that the artwork came from someone else and you're just reposting this. And that is how Nimble did it. But hang on, here's the beauty of the work. Here's the beauty of this, uh, this extension, okay? The beauty of the extension is that you can even do 
You can even download, check this out. You can download even, do you have a video, Sheila's data? We should have videos. I mean, uh, videos are a fantastic way to communicate. Uh, uh, let's say I wanna do a video, right? Uh, let's say, let's look at this here, right? Let's say um, I, I wanna download this off, okay? Look at that, I can legit just download that off um, quite easily. And I'm just gonna share, I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna share my screen, okay? Look at that, ladies. I have just, I have just completely downloaded off uh, my an, an, an entire video, an entire video just like that uh, from someone's Instagram account. And that is how you repost someone else's work because that is how I did it. That is how I did it um, uh, on our account. Look at that. This, this did not came from us. This came from someone else and I downloaded it and put it here. Um, and, then, and then that is going to help you with extra, extra, extra um, content. So you don't have to, anything to worry. Yeah. Okay. Next tool. Last tool. Okay. Next tool. Now, I think Crello is important because a lot of us, a lot of us needs to do animation on the fly. So I'm just going to go straight to it. Crello is incredibly powerful when it comes to animation that is absolutely free. Um, so I'm just going to go um, uh, create one account, right? I'm going to click on square video post, okay? Right? Uh, and then you can see the animations that they have is, is amazing what they have for free. Take a look at that. If you can do an easel, you can do a, a Crello, yeah? Look at that, yeah? So this is a tool that will allow you to actually put up really fancy animations, right? Animations, and all you have to do is just replace this, right? You love. There you go, right? And all you have to do is just change things up in your own way, in your own fashion, and just click download button and click the MP4, click a GIF, and there you have it. This is another tool for you because take a look at that, okay? Take a look at this. You might not be able to actually change the, 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 the icons and uh, stuff like that, but this is definitely something that you can play with um, and you can change it up according to your mood board. So that is key, yeah? that is key. Okay, that is that I want to share with everybody. Okay, and I think, and I think, um, this is pretty much everything that I, I want to share with everyone. What is everyone? Um, I'm sharing. Yeah. Ah. All right. Let me just say, Crello, Crello. Is that? Do you guys love Crello? Do you guys love Crello? Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna say a few more tools. I'm gonna just say it out, out. Okay, because the last part to it all is our email marketing software. So if I can have just five to ten minutes, five minutes of your time, five minutes of your time. Let me let's get straight to it about the email marketing software that I think you can definitely look. Now, if you are a, if you are a product business owner, please check out preview.com. If you have never heard of preview.com, please go through preview.com because it's going to help you out with tools, tools like abandoned cart. It's going to help you out with like your pop-up discount. Preview.com is perfect for product business owners, not really MailChimp, you should try to explore preview.com because it's definitely going to help uh, have those additional tools that can support you with your e coms business. Okay? Now, if you are a service provider, if you're a service provider and you have a lot of thought uh, pieces and you are more towards writing towards uh, to um, your, um, your, your, um, you know, your, your audience, I would definitely recommend for you to think about, for you to think about ConvertKit. All right, so ConvertKit is a very, very powerful tool. It's a very powerful tool that allows you to write an email series, do that series in much more concise than MailChimp put together. And I feel that like, you know, uh, ConvertKit is really fantastic to, to help you get there because the templates are completely plain. It's the two tools that I think is gonna help you with your email marketing. Now, if you love it, if you want to see a tutorial on this, please tell me in the chat box if you want me to explain via a tutorial on how to use a convert kit and how to use a preview. I can make a video out of it and I can share it with uh, Sheila's data. Uh, and then uh, let me know in the, uh, 
in the in the comment section if you would love a video tutorial on this because it's just not much time uh, for me to go through everything yes 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 yeah alrighty okay so there you have it ladies um, these are all the tools these are the designs so I went through design tools like easel I went through Crello okay I went through Crello I went through all the free tools like unsplash and stuff like that I also went through um, you know uh, convert kit a little bit and also preview now uh, for those who are interested to learn more to learn so much more i'm actually going to give away a free facebook chapter from my book okay there's going to be a free uh, giveaway from a, a chapter from my book uh, can we have that link up so that everybody can just download that chapter off uh, from the book it's going to help you out with your facebook marketing so please download that um, you know it's free for everyone it's free for um it's free for you uh if you have any questions which i'm going to go through some of the questions right now okay Alrighty. so um oh yes okay someone asked can can somebody tell me how to do a video uh, content editing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. There is a tool called Capwing. Please tag them because Capwing is, again, so fantastic. Capwing is a tool that is fantastic. It's absolutely free. I personally, I personally love, and if you, know, you don't, know, uh, uh, don't know this already, any moto any moto is fantastic um, it's something that you know is going to help you out with your animations so there's catway and there's animoto.com is definitely going to help you out with your work and i think that this is really really crucial uh, for your business so that's the that's the video editing tools that is really free free for everyone if you were to download any moto on your phone you can play with it and can do fantastic insta stories with it so any moto and catway for video editing yeah all right so um so someone asked, can I create, uh, is it necessary to create a Facebook page or can I direct traffic to my web page? Which option is better? Look, Kelly, Kelly, I'm going to ask uh, answer this because I know a lot of people have uh, have this question about, do I need a web, do I really need social media platforms? Yes, you definitely need a social media platforms for your work, but choose, choose very wisely because once you actually have, um, once you actually chosen a particular platform of choice, you need to invest your time and your energy for that particular platform. So if Facebook is something that you want to uh, proceed on, if Facebook is something that you want to, uh, you know, you want to, uh, uh, you know, um, proceed to creating, go ahead. But take, uh, but understand this: Facebook is a very pay to, uh, is a very pay to play uh, platform where you gotta boost a lot of postings just to get a word out. So my take is focus on Instagram as an account first for your small business. Focus on Instagram. If that is something that you think is easier for you to manage, do that on Instagram. For professionals, continue your work on LinkedIn because that is exactly what Facebook was. It was a platform where you can just share and things can get so viral and so very quickly. Continue to do that because the social media platforms is exactly where you want to actually be creating that conversation where you actually want to be engaging with the community and then bring them all back to the website, all right? So this is something that um, I definitely wanna share with everybody. I hope you love all these tools because I think this is really, really uh, key. Um, okay, does Putri ask, does later uh, cater and uh, hold multiple accounts? Yes, Putri, um, uh, you can actually, um, you know, subscribe to a, uh, to a premium account where you can bring team members into later. So this is something that you can actually um, do as well, all right? Okay, so that's the thing. I know we have a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions, but let me just end off with this. We had a fantastic, fantastic three amazing days, okay, three amazing days. We had digital marketing, we had content marketing, and then we have, of course, the ultimate toolkit uh, as a session. What I would love for you to understand is that the reason reason why she loves data is doing this um, and, and doing this together with me is because we want to tell a lot more of you that it is not that difficult to actually master your digital marketing or social media marketing you don't need a big team you can get things done if you have the right support right and i hope i hope i hope i have been your right support uh, from the get go and if you really want more information i would really encourage that you know you come on board to our summit because like i said that summit is going to be a lot more in depth a lot more in depth um, and I'm going to go through it all, all of it you know, across three days. So we're going to have fun together, have fun together. But yes, let's support each other. I do not know how everyone um, is actually feeling right now. So if you think that you have been, uh, if this is something that has been useful, give me a heart emoji, everyone. Give me a heart emoji. If this is something that has been fruitful for you, if this is something that, you know, you have enjoyed your, your time with me so, so far, uh, give me a heart emoji, guys. And of course, of course, we have a video ask. 
right? We have a video ask, uh, and I would love for everyone to participate in that video ask. Let me know your thoughts about what, you know, if these tools are going to be helpful for your business. Let me know your thoughts because the best rest it's going to get yourself a book. I'm going to mail it to you. Uh, and thank you so much. Amazing, amazing, amazing community. Uh, don't forget, thanks uh, to, to, follow, uh, to follow. Yes, I'm going to share one more time our screen here. Yeah? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hang on here. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Where is that screen? Gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull our PowerPoint up. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Ta-da! Okay, I'm going to share that screen. Yes, Rika, let's get everyone to follow us on our platforms. Yeah, thank you so much, Bella. It was really wow. And I'm pretty sure that you kept uh, people busy writing down <laughs> all, all the details and information. Yeah, guys, don't worry if you were not able to write uh, down all the details. We'll share with you a yes. link with recorded webinar so you will not miss anything. You can replay it whenever you have time. And if you go to sheilasdata.com website, you can also find the links from the previous webinars with Bella from Monday and from, uh, from Wednesday. So you're more than welcome to, to explore more if you have missed the Monday and, uh, and Wednesday. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, last but not least, uh, I would like to welcome you to another interesting webinar that is scheduled for tomorrow, again at 11 a.m. Singapore time. And it's going to be about the trends in e-commerce. Yeah. We will, yeah, we will welcome an expert from e-commerce who's going to share with us uh, how the trends of online shopping are shaping with the impact of uh, COVID-19 across the globe. So you can also find on uh, shelovedata.com slash events all the details. Please, please register yourself. And uh, yeah, let's stay in touch. Uh, keep checking our uh, social media. We have uh, so many other and interesting- Yeah, we have so many. So many, Raika. So many in the pipeline. Yeah. Ladies, I wish we can keep on talking to each other, Raika. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, this is something that, uh, I mean, like I said, please go to tomorrow's webinar. It's so fantastic. It's all about e-commerce. Please, please go and learn because I think that's really fantastic. I'm going to attend. I'm going to attend too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, everyone, uh, please tag yourself. Uh, you know, uh, show us your selfie if you enjoy uh, the session. Tag us on Sheila's Data. Tag us on Nimble. And we hope to see you again soon, yeah, everyone. Thank you so much, Ika. Thank, Thank you very much for your time, everyone. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, guys. See you next time. Bye, Thank everyone. You.